Hey guys, welcome to my second video. So today I'm going to talk about fad diets. Um, this is one of the things that I've learned so far in my degree in food and nutrition. Um, for those that haven't seen my first video, my first video is just talking about um, pretty much an introduction to myself and um, how, yeah, I want a career change. Um, and do something that I'm passionate about, which is nutrition, in the hope to finish that and then go on and be a dietitian. So, what is a fad diet? A fad diet is a diet that promises quick weight loss in a short amount of time. So, there's a few fad diets that's out there. There's the Atkins diet, there's the um, Pallias diet, no carb diet. Uh, the lemon detox diet, which is what I'm going to talk about. So there are a lot of diets, fad diets out there, which promises these things. So I guess my question to everyone that's watching this video, um, have you guys been on a, a diet before or a fad diet? And how did you feel when you were on it? And um, yeah, did you get the results that you wanted as well? So personally for me, I have been on a fad diet before um, a few years ago actually quite a long time ago I was a little bit chubby I would say about six years ago or seven years ago um, and um, yeah I mean back then I had the mentality that looking a little bit chubby you know without exercise is actually you know a, a good thing I don't know why but um, so back then, seven years ago, I was actually, first, initially I was very skinny and then um, I didn't like the skinny, thin look. So what I decided to do was put on weight and um, um, yeah, and then, um, so I pretty much just ate a lot. So um, talking about that, I used to, I used to, what I would have for dinner, I would have it for breakfast again, so the leftover food. And then on the way to work, I would stop by McDonald's and then have breakfast and then get to work. And then I would have something else around 10 and then 12, I would have my lunch. And then on the way home, I would stop by Macca's and eat that and then go home and then eat dinner again. So I used to eat a lot to get um, big. And then what happened afterwards was I put on a lot of weight and... Um, yeah, I, I wanted to lose it because everyone was telling me to lose the weight um, because um, I was starting to look unhealthy and, yeah, I was getting a little bit bigger. But obviously in my head I didn't see that because, yeah, sometimes for people when you just look at yourself in the mirror you just think you look all fine. But then, you know, when your family and your close friends tell you that, hey, you're too skinny or hey, you've put on a bit of weight, you know, it's kind of like a wake-up call. So, yeah, during that time, it took me a couple of months to, to realise that and go, okay, yeah, you know, maybe I have put on weight. So from that, I decided to go on a fat diet. And so that diet that I went on was pretty much just to eat only fruits um, and drink water and, yeah, and I would have coffee from time to time. I did that for about two weeks, two to three weeks, and it was difficult, but I did achieve the results I wanted, which is to lose the weight, and um, yeah, I just, uh, what I remember when I was on that diet was that I couldn't concentrate, uh, and I didn't have enough energy to do things, so I remember going to work and not being able to function, and Sometimes I had meetings and my stomach would talk to itself. So, um, you know, that put my self-esteem down. So it did kind of affect me. I think if I wasn't on holiday and I just stayed at home and I was on this diet, maybe, maybe it would be okay. <coughs> Sorry, maybe it would be different. But, yeah, unfortunately I was on this diet while I was still going to work and catching up with friends and, yeah, I just I felt so drained. I didn't have enough energy to do things and, yeah, but going just talking about fad diets anyway, um, studying nutrition so far, fad diets are actually not good for you and 
for the reasons that I was saying before when I was on a fad diet, so not having enough energy to do things and not being able to think, um, you know, not able to think clearly is not actually is not actually good for you. So the diet that I'm going to talk about today, and it's one of my assignments that I had to do, is the lemon detox diet. So um, for those that have tried a lemon detox diet, I actually want to know how you guys went with it. And um, yeah, for those that haven't been on a lemon detox diet, I'll just quickly explain what it's about. So a lemon detox diet is a diet that only contains four key ingredients. Um, the key ingredients is, of course, lemon. So fresh lemon juice, water, san uh, can cayenne pepper, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, and maple syrup. Um, so the diet just um, the diet just involves those four ingredi key ingredients and you just mix it together. And there's actually different stages. So depending on how in-depth you want to go with the diet, um, there's the intense version, which is the full body detox. There's the medium version, which is the relaxed version. And then there's the light version, which is 50-50 um, being on the diet than eating how you would normally eat. Um, so yeah, so the diet actually promises that you'll lose the weight, which I'm, of course, sorry, which of course I think you, you will. And um, yeah, and your skin will be clearer, your nails will be shinier. Yeah, so that's, that's what the lemon detox is. Um, now, because I've, I've been studying nutrition, it's actually not, not healthy. So the Australian Dietary Guideline is claiming that, not claiming, but it's saying, what I've learned so far is that it's saying that most fad diets are, or in fact all fad diets are not good for you. And just with the lemon detox diet, which is a diet that I'm talking about, it goes against the two guidelines. So with the Australian Dietary Guidelines, there's actually five guidelines, which I'll explain in my other videos, but just talking specifically about this fad diet. So it goes against guideline one, which states that you should eat nutritious food so you can expend um, energy or have enough energy to do physical activity. Um, and the second guideline says that you should have um, food from each of the five different groups of the Australian Dietary Guidelines. So just like fruits, veggies, protein, legumes, beans, milk. Um, and yeah, for that reason, the lemon detox diet is not healthy because it doesn't give you enough energy to be physically active and it also doesn't have vegetables, it doesn't have meat, it doesn't have legumes, it doesn't have beans, it doesn't have milk. So, you know, it's going against the Australian Dietary Guideline as I um, just mentioned. So yeah, so, um... This is my second video. I'm sorry if you know I'm not speaking clearly enough for some people, but um, hopefully I'll get better in time. And yeah, I guess um, my next few videos will just be about what I've learnt so far. And um, yeah, and then if there's anything that people want to ask me, then please just ask away. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my video and um, learned something.